EPL always is fun. Former president of Cricket West Indies, Wycliffe Dave Cameron, is bidding for the top job at the International Cricket Council, the ICC. The path to the ICC presidency will be bumpy, it seems, as Cameron unlikely to get the support of Cricket West Indies. That will prove an almost fatal setback in his bid to replace India's Shashank Manohar at the helm of world cricket. In a recent interview on Nationwide Radio in Jamaica, the CWI Vice President, Dr. Kishore Shallow, said Cameron will not get his endorsement. But President of the Barbados Cricket Association, Conde Riley, is of a different opinion. He believes the regional board must support Cameron and break the stranglehold of England, Australia and India on world cricket. Um, were cricket's most powerful post. The Cricket West Indies boss, Ricky Skerritt, who unseated Cameron in a hotly contested election, had this to say on the matter when we contacted him this week. He said, allow me to draw your attention to an ICC release last Wednesday that announced that the process for the ICC chairperson election was not yet finalized. As a director of ICC, it is not permissible or appropriate for me to preempt the decision of the ICC board or to make any advanced comment thereon. President Skerritt went on to say, I must also be frank and let you know that I'm unlikely to get into any public discussion about controversial non-cricket matters on any day immediately before or during the time that our team is battling on the field. All of my energy and thoughts are usually with our West Indian players at such periods. Thank you for understanding at this time. Those are the words of Ricky Skerritt, the president of Cricket West Indies, after we contacted him to appear on the Sportsmax Zone to talk about Dave Cameron's pursuit of the ICC chairman's position. Well, Dave Cameron is now joining us live to talk about uh, his presidential bid. Uh, Dave, uh, let, me start, let me start here by asking about a story that we've seen in the last 24 hours that you have approached um, India and Pakistan for some support. Is that, is that a story you can verify or endorse? Well, good evening, Lance, and good evening to your many viewers and listeners across the world. Um, thank you very much for the opportunity um, to, to visit your program again. I haven't been here for a little while. Mm. But before you, you I, I answer your question, um, I'm sure you saw this morning um, that passionate video by my local hero, Michael Holding, um, about Black Lives Matter. Yes. And, you know, it feels almost the same way when I watched him for 17 minutes extol um, my reputation, rip my reputation to pieces um, on, a, on a report that's been fabricated, in my mind, from Cricket West Indies, where nobody gave me an opportunity to, to respond. And, you know, it's, it's, it's lightened to, you could kill a man one time, but you kill, you destroy someone's reputation and livelihood and occupation. How different is that? Um, and I just, so I just wanted to draw your attention to that because that's how I felt for 17 minutes uh, watching that video and watching um, quick, ESPN cooking for George Dobell writing those things about someone who spent 17 years of their life serving West Indies cricket and this region. And I think. You know, I don't want to say much more about it. I've now filed a matter in the uh, courts in Antigua to, to get a copy of the report so I can answer it properly because I cannot allow my reputation to be stained um, in such a manner. Um, on the matter of speaking to uh, Isan Mani and Surab Gunguli, I have spoken to them, but I am not privy to share the, the information or the conversations with them. Hmm. All right, let me, let, me, let me take this further then, because the report also um, accepted that you do not have Cricket West Indies support, even though we have not heard definitively from Cricket West Indies um, regarding a letter which they have confirmed they have received from you asking for their support or asking, you, asking them for your, for, to support you. Now, you, in that report that I saw this morning with uh, you approaching India and Pakistan for some support, three times in the, in the, in the report, it, it suggested that you do not have Cricket West Indies support. Did they formally respond to you when you reached out to them? No, Cricket West Indies has not responded to me. Uh, you, Lance, you actually have more information than I do. Um, 
in that report you just read or note from the, the president. Um, and I find it interesting that, you know, the campaign was run against the Dave Cameron administration on West Indies first and cricket first. And the first thing we did when we went into office was we fired the most senior and qualified local employee, but we've kept on the foreigners that I hired um, into Cricket West Indies. And now uh, we have our vice president um, saying that he would not support me. And, you know, I would like to read um, a, a, a note that I got from Kishore that I sent to Kishore last year when I left Cricket West Indies. And it says, this is the 24th, so it must have been at 8.27 p.m., same evening after I lost the election. Uh, all the best, bro. Keep in touch if you need any assistance. The response, thanks, Press. Tough luck. Really have learned a lot from you. My respect, fully intact. Bless up, hold firm. My response, bless up. So, you know, imagine my shock and awe when I saw Kishore's response in the Jamaican papers about how he felt about my tenure uh, in office. Um, and so that is why I've had to look outside and in to get support. Um, and just to say, Lance, if, if I didn't think I had a chance, if the ICC board didn't respect me as a serious candidate, I would not be having these discussions. Yeah. Before you continue, though, Dave, why would you be surprised at the position that Dr. Kishore Shallow had with regard to the interview that he gave on radio here in Jamaica, when, based on the campaign, uh, Dr. Kishore Shallow, Ricky Skerritt, and many others uh, spoke so disparagingly about your leadership reign. Why would it surprise you now you, that... Did you, did, you, did you hear what I just said? Yes. Yeah. So, did you hear what I just read? I heard what you just you, said, but you now, have two, you, you, you now have two narratives coming from one person. So why would you more believe one narrative than the other? All right, and it, go, it goes on on the 26th to say, yes. on the 26th I said, good morning, Kish. Yes. Please be careful with the comments. You guys need to give confidence to Sajiko in Jamaica about the future of the organization. Did anyone try to meet with them while you were here? Just some friendly advice. Hey, Prez, that name remains, eh? There's a meeting scheduled before the end of the week. Mm. So. Um, elections are elections, and people say things in order to win elections. Um, when elections are over, we go back to work. And so, if the vice president sends me this note, yes. am I to take it that he's not someone of his honor? Because we have not had any other interaction. And if you can prove that Dave Cameron has said anything negative in the press about this administration, then I will sell you 10 acres of flat land at Blue Mountain Peak. Well, you, you did say after you lost the election, Dave, that um, some men who um, had promised to support you let you down, which, uh, in a manner of speaking, admi is, is... That has nothing to do with the administration. It has everything to do with the persons who cast the votes. Yeah. Um, yep. I, 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 hear, I hear you, Dave, but to be, to be quite honest, during the campaign, which many people considered an acrimonious Lance, campaign, Lance, the, the, Lance. The, C, the CWI, the, the, the Ricky Skerritt slate, Dave, the Ricky Skerritt slate spent a lot of time, a lot of time, including social media, um, speaking very disparagingly about your reign as president of Cricket West Indies. And, and disparagingly mm. about my persona. Mm. Agreed? Well, yes. They, they, yeah, yeah, the, 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 the con one of the constant saying was that it's not so much your ability to lead, but your leadership style. It, right. it was okay, said. So, so, that was so said. Let's, so, let's, so let's discuss that. Mm. Let's discuss why I'm having this conversation with you. Because we could go on and talk about persona for a very, very long time and about what was said. You know, the fact of the matter is that Dave Cameron administration came into to, to Creek West Series in 2013. And we had an amazing six years, despite all the challenges. Um, we've left a stadium. The CPL you were just talking about started on the Dave Cameron. The, the PCL started on the Dave Cameron. We've left a stadium 
in, in Antigua to, to Cricket West Indies. And we've improved the finances while there and won four championships between 2012 and 2016. That's performance. Now, we, my, the first job I had out of school as a manager at the tender age of 22, Mr. Frank Rand said to me that, Dave, if you're a manager and everybody likes you, there is a problem. And if everybody dislikes you, there is a problem. So, and I've lived with that all my life. Um, I'm trying to have results, um, and I'm not particularly hung up on trying to please everybody, because otherwise you, you won't get to where you're, you're trying to get to. And it is that fortitude, it is that personality, which makes me suited to lead world cricket. Because although I have challenges you, that you may believe, those are the strengths that I use in the boardroom at the ICC to be able to advance the position of Cricket West in his, uh, and the world position. Dave, you've been cited as saying, even if you don't get CWI support, it can work in your advantage. You've been you know, confident moving forward. You said that you can stand up as an independent party and this will work in your favor. Uh, do you, you know, how do you see this moving forward, like pushing this independent um, candidate notion? It, the, the position is an independent one. Yeah. The, in, in 2016, when we changed the 2017 um, on the Shashank Manahar, that was one of the things that we did. Uh, we changed it to an independent chairman. So uh, I could not have been the president of CWI and also the chairman of, of um, ICC. Um, so so in, in that sense, I am saying to the world that not having um, Ricky Skerritt and this administration personal support not the cricket, not the West Indies, um, that I can stand at ICC independently of the issues and lead world cricket for the improvement of world cricket rather than any particular job. Dave, apart from, you know, just pushing the back and forth notion between CWI and yourself, uh, what are some of the plans if you get that top position and how do we improve cricket moving forward? I feel like that yeah, is excellent, lost. Excellent, that is lost. Excellent question. Excellent question. So, the challenge I have with my detractors in the Caribbean and, and maybe some worldwide is that unfortunately uh, we don't understand um, or we have a different view. So my view is I was running a business. Um, the fans view that I was running cricket. Um, and so, as I said, my, my successors have come into office on cricket first um, and West Indies first. Uh, again, I'm surprised that they would not back their own on a West Indies first policy because that's what they, they campaign on. But the whole idea is that this is a business. The reason why Cricket West Indies continues to struggle is because in 1998, after Sir Clyde Walker admitted office, the, the commercial reality of world cricket was changed. Um, the Honorable Pat was so of blessed memory, who is a founder of your lovely station, I was voted out, voted down nine to one at the time. There were 10 full members in Bordeaux. And that is the reason why today we're struggling. So let me let me paint the picture for you. Today we are in um, and, and starting a, 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 a <clears throat> test match today in England in a COVID infested um, country. And the West Indies Cricket Board will not have achieved or earned a penny for playing that test match today in England. And it's reputed that England will save hundreds of millions of dollars for that event. That doesn't make sense. The Cricket West Indies, West Indies team, has been on the road for more months than they're at home. And so it's, it's, the policy is, when you're at home, you keep all the revenues. And when you travel, your host keeps all the revenues. And so this disparity in cricket continues. And that is the reason why the, the, the revenues, et cetera, in West Indies cricket is what it is today. Yeah. So unless you understand that dynamics, we're not going to be able to move forward. We can forget all about cricket and how well we play on the field unless we fix the revenue and the commercial side of world cricket, Cricket West Indies, Zimbabwe, New Zealand, Sri Lanka will be extinct in the next three to five years. 
Because while cricketer's value has been increasing at an exponential rate, the value of these boards are diminishing because the stars are playing in these domestic tournaments all over the world, and the media houses, TV, etc., do not want to pay for them. As well, most of them are not playing cricket yeah. for their country boards anymore. Yeah. And so the value of those rights are reducing at an alarming rate. Yeah. So let me give you the numbers. Yes, Dave, quickly. Um, UK right, sold their rights, their domestic rights, for four years, 1.2 billion pounds. India, 1.1 million US dollars. And Aussie, um, Australia was something like 1.1 Australian dollars. And I may have misquoted a few, a few cents here and there, but it's around about, all of them are over a billion dollars. If Cricket West Indies sells its four-year rights for 60 million, we would have done extremely well. Now, we're all playing in the same events, same tournament. And I'm saying to you, unless we host England and India in a year, the board's revenues are little to nothing. So we lost more than 20 million the year before last when we did not host any of those teams. Last year, the reported results for Cricket West Indies was a surplus of $15.5 million on the back of revenues of $70 million because we hosted England and India. Mm -hmm. That is the reality of what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. My position, which has been advocated at uh, World Cricket on several occasions, there are several papers that I've shared with George, and I think most of us don't really understand them, speaks to the core of the issue. And until we address that, no more events that we put in the schedule will rectify the imbalance in the sport and allow us to retain our talent. Yeah. So there are different models, different things, but we have to get in the room and I have to have a conversation with the directors, shareholders mm -hmm. of World Cricket in order to get them to understand different models that we can increase the revenues in World Cricket so that all can participate and have a sustainable future. Yeah. Uh, Dave, before you go, the ICC, in a release one week ago, said that the process for the chairperson election is uh, expected to be approved by the ICC board within a week. So I expect that that should happen any time now. My, my, my sources tell me by Friday of this week to yeah. next Wednesday, yes. um, so, the process will be approved. And, yes. And so so am, I to, am I to understand by that, Dave, that the process won't be the same as it was in 2016 and 2018 when Manahar first came to so, uh, the presidency yes. in 2016 and then retained in 2018? Will they change the process? Well, so, so what is written in the Constitution mm. is that the Board of Directors decides the, the, the process. Um, and so, yes, it can be changed, can be varied a bit. In, in 2016, in 2018, um, I was actually approached uh, to run in that election. And I remember Chairman Shasham coming to me and says, Dave, I hear you're planning to challenge me, but I already have nine of the votes, so it doesn't make sense. Um, at which point I said to him, Chairman, I wouldn't challenge you. If I was challenging you, you would know about it. Um, and so there was no challenger at the time. And so the process was fairly straightforward. He was nominated um, and elected unopposed. Now that there are a number of persons who are putting their hats in the ring, um, the board of directors, so to speak, have to agree exactly how that, that process will run. Mm -hmm. And before I, before I leave, um, Lance, it's very important that I outline to you that in 2017, when the former chairman resigned, I was the one, Dave Cameron, who encouraged him to return. Um, and what we did, we, we did a number of resolutions um, to ensure that he remained in place and so that our share of revenues could move from $85 million to $130 million. Mm -hmm. That's what we did at the ICC. This was all engineered by yours truly, supported by Imwan Kwaja, who is now the deputy chairman of the ICC. From Singapore. So we're well respected within yeah. the halls of the ICC um, for what we've done. And everybody's very clear about my own views as to work with it.
Yeah. yeah, well, we've got to leave it there, Dave, but uh, certainly good talking to you. So in a nutshell, what I understand by what you've just said is that you have confirmed that you contacted um, Pakistan and India support for support, and you aren't divulging what the conversation others. Among, led to. Among others. Among, among, others. among others. And you also said that if you didn't think you had a chance, you wouldn't be putting yourself up in the first place. That is correct. correct. Thank you very much, Dave Cameron. We, we, we will evening. be in touch and Thank we'll be monitoring this story closely. Dave Cameron, former president of Cricket West Indies, eyeing chairmanship of the International Cricket Council. And um, the ICC, he says, will announce by Friday um, the process uh, to which, which will be applied to appoint a new chairman of the ICC with uh, Manohar um, resigning or not seeking re-election and Khwaja in the position now as an interim yeah. ICC head. We go to break.